When you use an update query to update a table that contains multi-valued fields, you can change a single value in a multi-valued field to another value. How to update the values depends on the source of the values in a multi-valued field. For example, source for the values in the assigned to multi-valued field in projects is employees table. The bound value is employee ID which is stored in the database. So when you want to update a value, you must use the bound value. For example, to replace Amy Jones with Ted Wallace, find the employee ID for them. Employee ID for Amy Jones is 9301 and Ted Wallace is 9306. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design, Add Projects. In the Query Design tab, click on Update, Add the field Assign to dot value. In the Update to row, enter 9306. In the Criteria row, enter 9301. Click on Run. Access displays confirmation message. Click on S to confirm. All the rows where assigned to values have Amy Jones are updated to Ted Wallace. To update Sam Hart, in the criteria row, enter 90002. In the update to row, enter 9006. Notice that we entered a value which doesn't exist in the employee ID field. Run the query. Open projects. Since there is no employee with employee ID 9006 in employees table, 9006 is updated as bound value and display value. To prevent from updating to employee IDs not existing in employees table, make sure employees and projects are joined and enforce referential integrity is checked. In the database tools tab, click on relationships. If a join does not exist between employees and projects, create one. If there is a join, right click on the join line and click on edit relationship. Check enforce referential integrity. Click on OK. Now try to update Sam Hart 90002 to 9006. Run the query. Access displays a key violation error. You cannot have duplicate values in a multi-valued field. If the value in the update to already exists, that record will not be updated. All the other records will be updated. For example, replace Lisa Mac 9305 to Sam 9302 in project 2 and 3. Enter 9302 in update to row and 9305 in criteria row. Run the query. Access displays a message that you are about to update two rows. Project 3 already has Sam Hart. Access displays a message showing the number of records that cannot be updated and the reason also. Here it says one record cannot be updated due to key violation. Click on S to run the query. Lisa Mac in Project 2 is updated to Sam Hart. Lisa Mac in Project 3 is not updated. You can also filter the records based on another field. To replace Sam Hart with Olivia Cooper only for Project 3, filter the records using Project ID. Add the field Project ID. Project ID for Project 3 is 3. Employee ID for Sam Hart is 9302 and Olivia Cooper is 90018. Enter 3 in the criteria row of the Project ID. In the update to row of the assigned to value, add 90018 and criteria row, add 9302. Run the query. Only the assigned to field in the record with the project ID 3 is updated. The flowers table has multi-valued field colors. The row source is a value list. In this case, the bound value and display value is the same. For example, update red to pink in the colors field. In the query designer, add flowers, add colors.value, click on update. In the update to row, enter pink. In the criteria row, enter red. Run the query. 
red is updated to pink in the assign to field for all the records to download access example file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel